Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how can I get all the useful, some of the useful tables and function modules and BAPIs for a particular uh, process for suppose uh, related with uh, work order or probably production, plant maintenance, different places, different, they call differently. So here is a particular order that I have, okay. And suppose I want to know the information. So I went to IW33 and uh, as a technical person, you don't know anything about it, how will you know? So I'll go to workflow, I go here, I go to workflow, I go to archive workflow, <clears throat> and here I get this business object, okay? So now I go to another transaction, which is, uh, let me go into this transaction, SW1. And here, I'll put this and I'll display. Okay. From here, I'll know, I don't know anything about where the table and all those things. From here, I know AUFK is the main thing for work. Okay. After this, what more I know? I know all this information, priority, notification, created by order category. So if I double click on it, I will know oh, this is stored in this table. So all these things you can you can get very important information without without even looking for them and trying to find it and all those things. So it has lots of information here. Now this is only the field level you have. Okay. <clears throat> now if you want to see the methods, you can see other methods. So you can see purchase order change, existence, you can see create. So the methods you may not get, but you can get this very important state, user status set. So if you want to click on the program, you can see how they do this user status set. And I think they use probably a function module. There it is, status change extent. This is very, very, very important on the uh, plan management side because they need to have a status, uh, status like TICO, uh, closed, uh, then you have uh, released and all those things. So you have intermittent user status that you can say in process, uh, initiated and all those things, whether it's on hold and all those things. Very, very important. So from all this information, all this information you just can get easily just going to the workflow and go to the business object. And trust me, 90% of the time, if you have a plant maintenance uh, object, uh, they're using plant maintenance. Not everyone uses plant maintenance. But if someone uses plant maintenance in the utility and other places, you, sh you are surely going to have a workflow and then you are going to use this business object. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it. And have a great day and a happy new year.